Hello, and thank you for watching our uh, Halloween special. My name is Carlos Flores, and I'll be doing a dramatic reading of The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. <clears throat> Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many quaint and curious volumes of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly I remember, it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Uh, hey, 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 what, what, what's going on? Hey, thanks for watching our Halloween special. Now I got humor, some humor for you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, go ghouls and ghosts, vampires and werewolves, zombies and witches. This is Ismael here to tell you jokes that will make you laugh your heads off. Continue to watch if you scare. <laughs> Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Because he didn't have any guts. Why don't ghosts like parties? Because they have nobody to dance with. Why are there fences around cemeteries? Because people are dying to get in. Why are vampires easy to fool? Because they are suckers. Why do you call, what do you call a monster who poisons apple jacks? A serial killer. Knock knock. Ivana. Ivana suck your blood. Once again, thank you for watching Night's nice Network Halloween special. Now we'd like to present our latest edition of Night's nice News. Peace. Yeah. Hello. And I'm Casey. And, and welcome, welcome to Night's nice News. News. Hey, Christy, have you visited our new Night's nice Armor store? Uh, yeah, I work in the student store. Oh, really? Well, what do you do? I work at Night's Heat uh, helping make t-shirts. Well, I give Leo moral support while he makes the shirts. Well, let's join Grady and see what actually goes down in our first segment. Hey, this is Grady from Night's News here at the new Night's Market. Let's go check it out and see what some people have to say. I'm here with Miss Woodall to talk about the new and improved Night's Market. Miss Woodall, how do you feel about the generous donations made by Safe Credit Union to remodel our store? Oh, I'm just overwhelmed. I think it's great um, how much they appreciate you kids, and they really want to do this for you guys and for what you're learning here in this program. How do you feel about the store opening up here in 2013-2014 season? Um, I think this year we're going to have some great improvements. Things are going to be uh, even better than it has been in the past. Every year gets better. Can you tell us some of the new um, products that we are selling that we didn't have last year and whatnot? Well, in our food line, we have a lot more pro new products. We have pineapple spears, apple slices, uh, yogurt parfaits, a slushy machine, 
Um, so we've expanded in that area. In our product line, we've also expanded to um, have some new type of work done in the um, embroidery department that's going to be kind of fun to watch. All right, well, thank you for your time, and hope it's a big success. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. So, Chrissy, you know it's almost cuddly season. Good thing I got my trusty old pillow. Well, hopefully our next two segments will help cheer you up and get everyone excited for fall. First, we have a poem, poem recited by yours truly. And then we have a short music video by our good pals Travis and Chance. Autumn by S. Moore, read by Carlos Flores. The flowers are fading, the trees getting bare, and the thin frosty vapors are chilling in the air. For nature is losing her mantle of green, and now in a rusty brown robe may be seen. The beauties of summer are fading and past, and the sweet balmy breeze is exchanged for the blast. And autumn is losing a rich golden store, and winter, grim winter, is coming once more. I love the long days where a fair face of nature is sprinkled with gems and a smile on each feature. Tis then I delight to traverse the wild mountain, or seek the green valley beside the clear fountain. Oh, is it not pleasing to spend the sweet hours amid nature's beauty of vendor and flowers? Yet still more enduring the sober turn mirth, enjoying and securing the fruits of the earth. Hold up. So, Chrissy, I think it's time for some sports. Let's go see what Bianca has for us. Hey, this is Bianca with our weekly sports. Two weeks ago, we had our homecoming football game against the Ponderosa Bruins. We had a 7-21 victory. Zach Burden had two interceptions, and Marcel Brown had a 99-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Now, let's see some great clips from the game. Great, great.
Twilight Nights. Back to you, Carlos and Chrissy. Now we can go with Ka back to Kayla and Bianca with our new segment, Word of the Week. Great. Let's see if we can improve our vocabulary a little bit. Hey, this is Bianca. And this is Kayla. With your Word of the Week. This week's Word of the Week is Minion. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of the word Minion, Kayla? Think of those little yellow guys on this pig bull, me too. I knew you'd say something like that. Have you seen the Minions around school, Bianca? Talking about the freshmen? No, I'm talking about the little painted stools around school. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. But how many people do you think would know the actual definition of the word Minion? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm here with... Maurice. What do you think the definition of a Minion means? The definition of a Minion is a small... Uh, is a small... Dude. It's like a small uh, little slave that uh, bought him to do it on the me made. Can you use it in a sentence? I make Minions do what I want them to do. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm here at Keenan Hunt. Keenan, what's your definition of the word Minion? Um, a retarded sponge. Can you use it in a sentence? I use a minion when I wash my dishes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bianca, what's the real meaning of the word minion? A minion is an obsequious or dependent follower. Well, our little minion here is always smiling, but the real question is that what? Well, this is Kayla. And this is Bianca. And this was the word of the week. See you next week with the new word. Well, looks like that's all we have for today. I'm Chrissy. And I'm Carlos. Go, Go Knights. Knights. And have a wonderful day. I'm Coach Adams. You know how much I was born in Sacramento Grove, grew up in Real End. This is my school right here. Look, look over here. This is one of my students who was a great influence on me. She came in, inspired, inspired me to be a better teacher, and that's the way life is. So there.